More changes are likely for Utah's medical marijuana law. Right now, state lawmakers are scrambling to refine the law just before that medical marijuana program begins next month. ABC4's Jared Giottinini has the story. Now, the Senate Health and Human Services Committee unanimously approved several amendments to the cannabis law. In a committee hearing, lawmakers and the public gathered to listen to the bill's sponsor, Senate Majority Leader Evan Vickers, clarify his changes. Now, supporters want to decriminalize folks who have used marijuana medically, but say it would not include those who were caught selling it or those with felonies. No word on how many people this would impact in Utah, but according to a 2010 study from the ACLU, 52% of all drug arrests were marijuana related. Supporters say this change, among others, are a step in the right direction. For example, past criminals who are patients are going to have an opportunity to expunge their records if they were using medical marijuana before Prop 2 even passed. That's a, a huge thing that we're doing. We're also making sure that the flower, the actual medicine that people are using, is no longer going to be in these awkward blister pack containers, but we're moving to the industry standards. Lawmakers are still faced with some challenges. This is all federally illegal, so the majority of states now that have legalized medical cannabis are doing this kind of in defiance of the feds. That creates complications for things like banking when banks are federally Regulated. Now everyone agrees this bill isn't perfect. There's a lot more to be hammered out. Next, this bill will go to the Senate floor for a vote. No timeline as to when, but we heard it could happen by the end of the week. The number one thing here is providing folks with access. Jared Jatinini, ABC4 News.